that I'm really uh, speaking here on behalf of the fantastic team that carried out this mosaic expedition. It was the largest Arctic expedition of our time probably ever, a truly international and multidisciplinary uh, endeavor with seven icebreakers and research vessels working together, uh, making it possible with 450 people from 90 institutions uh, being on board. And actually, we had 37 different nationalities on board doing that expedition from all areas of uh, Arctic system research. The expedition was successfully implemented 2019 to 2020, and I'm happy and proud that we can say that. It was successfully implemented despite the huge challenges from the pandemic that uh, destroyed so many other things on our planet during that time. The data will become freely available for everybody on this planet uh, after quality control at the end of 2022. To support our common and joint mission, uh, the goal to explore the climate processes of the Central Arctic year-round. So we started the drift, the year-long drift, on the 4th of October in the Siberian Arctic. You will see a map later. And our first day on our home flow for the next year was at the same time, the last day we could see the sun before the onset of the polar night. And then the long uh, isolation of the uh, drift when we were closely, firmly locked into the ice uh, started. We were in the hands of nature. The drift follows uh, then the natural movements of the ice, driven by unpredictable winds and currents. And it's completely isolated. It's the next people 1,000 kilometers away out of range of the long distance helicopters and several months in the complete darkness of the polar night. I, uh, I'm still impressed from the uh, experiences we had there on the ice during the night.